Welcome everyone to another week of Better Together VR. This week we are looking at the insides of worlds to come. We're looking at interaction, tech demos, uh, things that you can add in your worlds today. And, and your I'm ex avatars. Oh, and I, oh, really? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, we have some worlds on this list that we've been wanting to show for a long time, um, such as the one you might see us in right now. But we'll get to that in a touch. Um, yeah, sorry, that was my spiel. That's all I had. <laughs> I had a brain Good spiel. Good second. job. It's, it's a long Good day. Intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little sleepy today. <laughs> Just a little. Project deadlines and all. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's all good. Dylan, though. can you give us I'm a really little excited. insight yeah. today? Uh, well, we've got some fun surprises. Um, I've actually been really looking forward to this stream because I really like tech, de tech demo streams. Um, I like to think about, I like to play with like, um, you know, like prefabs that people have and like um, you'll see kind of in this world, like it shows kind of the um, ways to improve upon the design of worlds, uh, improve upon interaction, layout, environment, lighting, all kinds of things. Um, and I get excited about that because it gets me thinking about like how, what kinds of worlds we could create. Um, Cause sometimes just having an example can help oh, you yeah. to think about a way that you can use that in a different way to make something entirely new. Or so, yeah, getting uh, getting inspiration at times. You see an effect and you're like, oh, I could, this reminds me of this, or I could totally use this for this. Yep, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, and we've got some fun stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. All right. And I, right. I'm guessing Scout's really looking forward to the uh, the avatar stuff we're going to get to then. Scout's a great avatar I'm artist. I'm sure I am. I Ooh. definitely do. Yes. The other I thing I'm really stuff. excited about is that uh, Dust Bunny, <gasps> um, Dust Bunny shared a Twitter post about how to attach your trackers to your shoelaces. Oh, nice. And I've been really frustrated the last few times I've been in VR because my um, my straps for my shoes were starting to not stick anymore. The Velcro wasn't sticking. So, like, I'd have my tracker just go flying. See. And then, of course, my leg goes flying. <laughs> Can <laughs> so you really call yourself now... committed to VR and full body tracking if you don't have dedicated shoes for the trackers? Well, they're not dedicated <laughs> shoes. Yet, <laughs> the technique was pretty fast. It was like, yeah, it was like you know, like loosen your shoelaces a little bit, stick it under this part, and then loosen the two at the top, stick it under there, and then tie it. So it, is this for a vibe? Could, it's actually vibe just about the same. Yeah, the vibe, the the, the three point oh trackers. Yeah, it, yeah, it, they're really good size to fit so on the now shoe. Yeah, I can shake my leg, and the tracker stays on. Nice. The only way I'm going to lose my tracker is if I lose my whole shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. Stay places. tuned. It could happen. So, I just <laughs> put in the order for my index. So hopefully soon Yay. I'll be getting full body tracking. You'll have a fully oh, tracked no, hot dog on stream. Oh. I'll be able to turn my head and not be like, "Yay, no, turning your head." Uh, Batman. Not have your butt follow you before as he could turn turns. his neck. Yeah. You'll be able to do like a, a, a hot dog booty shake. Uh, I can Maybe. twerk my buns. <laughs> we'll find out. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just what everybody wants to see. A hot dog twerk in their buns. 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, uh, okay. I was just... Yep. We Go need to catch up on the chats. We've oh, we got some we got people chats. joined us today. Yeah. Yeah, we've got... Uh, so far, we've got uh, Juice in the chats and Binko and... Bingo! Uh, Mike Ward draws. Yeah. Hello! Hey, everybody. Mike. Joining us. Yay! Juice, we got so, a special one for you oh today. Oh my gosh, it's getting getting active in here. I can't even keep up. 
Um, <laughs> okay, so we've got Binko says, that's a great way to approach world hops, planting seeds for creation. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Mike says, been a minute since I was near a computer while you streamed. Good show, everyone. I'll be creepily, creepy, <laughs> creepy watching silently while I work. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Sneaky. Totally awesome. And then Juice creepers. says, ahoy. Uh, so the, the video server stuff was down, but has been restarted. I hate to ask, but if you rejoin the world, the panel animations animations should start working. Oh, okay. Oh, totally. Okay. We can we'll, do that. We we'll can restart. definitely do that. Um, yeah. Just let me finish up the last couple comments here, and then we'll, okay. we'll do that. Okay. Uh, Binko, I know you'll relish the tracking, John. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you really got to catch up with us. <laughs> um, and then Mike says, um, I want to see fancy panel animations too. I can muster yeah. the energy. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that's no problem. Cool. Okay. Um, so wanna... let's introduce this world first to kind of explain well, why Juice has this. I think we should like this, introduce uh... it in its full glory. Yeah, let's let's respawn or whatever. Okay. We'll re rejoin. We probably need to, yeah, rejoin. So that's... Just we'll do a full a world portal? reload? Why don't you just make a new portal? Let's do yeah. a new portal. Do, 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 do. Which means I can leave the camera where do, 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 it is right do, do, now. Ha ha. The classic. You can't... I, I don't have Oh, too placement. close to spawn. I don't have portal placement yet, yeah. <laughs> Which is apparently coming. Portal placement. Very That's oh, nice. Really? Yeah. So you can just you can select move where you want to drop it. Spot. Yeah. yeah. We'll cool. be right back. Okay. All right. Come here we go. Come on in. Come on in. Let's do. You can hear that sound. That's the sound of people coming in and out of this world. Apparently, we're not talking about it just yet. You might have some hints so far. Ooh, majestic. Okay. Well, I heard the join noise. Where, did oh, that, there's Dylan. Did that fix it? I is don't it, know. Is it stuff uh -huh. like up up there? Oh, is it these panel animations? Like I'll have to ask. Oh, is it moving? It is moving. The arrows are moving. Okay. But were the arrows not moving before? So I'm going to give... I notice. Those are great let's introduce though. the world. Juice, let us know if uh, if what you were thinking about is working or not. Uh, and maybe we can try another reload. Uh, so Dylan, let's go ahead. Yeah. Well, we have this beautiful um, wall panel right here that tells us what this world is. So this world is called Etiquette. And it's a world by juice. And uh, so if it's one thing you need in VR chat, so just... it's etiquette. <laughs> or at least there needs to be more of it. <laughs> so, so this one is, um, yeah, it's like kind of the etiquette around world design, things that you can do to create a better experience for your players. Hmm. Excellent. So is this, uh, I guess we'll go find out, but this sounds like this is going to be like oh. some best practices and such. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so oh, Juice says, yes, if the arrows are moving, you're good to go. Awesome. So we're going to show what that means. So if you we come over here, the arrows move, but on the camera, they're not showing the text. So I'm going to have to switch over to my head cam here for a moment. There we go. Ooh. Welcome. Etiquette it's is defined nice as it the custom made code nice. of polite behavior in society. This world is meant to apply that logic to experience and environment design. You'll find examples of good and bad practices. Nothing here is meant to be absolute, opinionated, or personal. It's merely a connection, collection of concepts to consider when making your own worlds. So, Juice, to begin with, I love the idea that you're not just going with the good, like here's what you should do. It's very important to show here's what you should not do because a lot of the time people will think, oh, I had this great new idea. Meanwhile, what you're actually going into is a bad practice because all you've seen is like the good practices. Um, not to say you shouldn't try things out. 
because maybe you might be onto something. Maybe you might be maybe you might find a better way to do a bad practice. But important to know why a bad practice is such. Where did I put my camera? Oh, there's my camera. <laughs> so I don't know how you just did all that without laughing. Um, <laughs> Scout just went into some like really strange yoga pose. Oh, uh, I thought they were just standing the still. <laughs> oh, no, their leg was like twisted around. They're like, <laughs> I can't even do it. Um, but yeah, they're busted. <laughs> so oh no, Scout's, Scout's gonna try and rejoin us, but we'll. Okay. Yeah, Scout's headsets give them giving her all kinds of trouble. And this um, is the headset they told just, me to buy. Uh... <laughs> Every once in a while, you get a dead. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, she's she's going through the the process to deal with that, but well, yeah, new cable didn't fix it. What is this thing on the wall over um, here? That's the settings. Oh, this is I settings. Think, oh, this thing. I thought you meant that over there. No, this is settings. Sorry. Oh, well, let's go see settings. Okay. Oh, there's audio link in this. Uh, I just Take wanted out. to say uh, that um, Ares is in the in the chats and says, Juice gives great tours of his worlds. You guys should have him on sometime. Hmm. Oh, we totally should. Yeah. No. Yeah. We uh, We have been talking that we would love to do uh more guest appearances mm -hmm. so juice if you have a world coming up let us know you don't you also have to have so a world coming the... up. just let us know <laughs> that's true so yeah these are the just the settings um right now they're all turned on yep okay and I believe that we'll be coming back to this. Oh. So, so I don't have to worry about this right yeah, just yet. This, oh, it moves. It's moving. Yeah. But what you can notice is that it's actually, it like goes to your height. So when you back up, so, let's see, it's not I... tracking you. When you get closer to it, it tracks your head position. Okay. So if I go here. I have, to, I have to stand up. I'm going to have to squat. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Track in the head. Yeah. So that's great for so if we'll you have like that. any UI or. Uh, mm -hmm. Or if you want oh, things to actually just I love it when UI elements will like head. actually move to your height. Oh, yeah. It's really great if you're like in a really short avatar and you can't reach anything unless if it actually moves down to where you are. How's Scout doing? Hmm. Juice says, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Juice says, odd that the text mesh stuff isn't showing up on camera. No, sometimes Is things that like that doesn't happen and we have to, I have to show it through the head cam because things like shaders don't come through the camera quite often. Textures will. Is it something to do with like if it's on the UI layer? It's the post, if it's post processing, which mm. actually the UI, mm. well, it's, it's not just the UI layer because uh, like the microphone symbol shows up. Oh, of which the microphone symbol shows up. Shoot, I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and your name. Okay, are well, showing. why don't we? Turn that off. John's, oh. not... John's not used to things just yet. Just a couple, another week, and I'll be back to normal. I think. Whoa. Okay, so should we continue? Oh, Here. what? Is Scout almost ready? Uh, we may have slight issue. Scout created this instance, so I oh. can't invite Scout back to it. Oh, okay. I won't say that. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah. 
You need to change your um, status. Oh, shoot. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have enough friends for uh, to bug me anyway, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Yay, you're back. Hey. Yay, I'm back. Oh, I have not. You don't have tracking not yet. My but... Oh, okay. Just have to not look down. Don't look down. Oh. It's going to be a weird one, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excellent. Let's, let's, let's go on to this. Just, just let me know if my bat body is being weird. <laughs> uh, in, a, in an actually weird way. I feel like the camera is... Great. Okay, no, it's fine. Okay. Hmm. Oh. oh. Uh, so this here does... we have exhibit two. Okay, hold on one sec. I got to go back into head cam. Okay. Oh, Juice says that the text is in fact on the ui layer so oh, that might no. be what's doing it interesting um okay so soften the ascent i really love this one i'm so glad this is in this world use yes. ramps or low poly colliders on stairs and rough terrain so that you don't make your users feel sick so if you look at the, uh, <laughs> the ramp. so as a reason i'm going to keep you in my headset while we do this so that way you can see the difference so we're going to go through the bad. And you see what is happening. So when users have to do that, it can be a little jarring. Even if it's down, you're still getting the bumps. And then here's smooth. There we go. Nice and smooth. I did I did notice that there's a setting oh. for the stream camera where you can show UI. Oh, is there the now? Lines in the world. I don't recall yeah. seeing that before. Okay. So it's in if you go sorry everyone, but if you go to the stream camera. Oh filters. Go, or the, the lens visibility. Yeah. No. What was it? Shoot. It's actually I the remember mask. seeing this somewhere. It's under mask and then just turn mask. on UI. There it is. And then it should right. show up. And then we can see the signs. Wait a tick. Why is it why is it blue? Oh, awesome. That oh, doesn't look quite right. Oh, it gave John a blue filter. A blue filter? Did you hit something else at the same time yeah. by accident? Sounds like you might have selected the uh, mm -hmm. one of the effects. Well. No. Nope. <laughs> I turned on the UI layer. Uh... There's a blueprint filter right in the beginning of the filters section. Could you have accidentally turned that on? No. Nope. Here, I will show you. I'm going to go into head mode so you can see my camera. So if you, if anyone out there happens to know what I might be doing wrong, let me know. Oh. So I go into mask. I turn on UI. And then we, now we have the blue. I turn off. There we go. Now there is a theory that, okay, maybe I'm p clicking a filter in behind. No filter it doesn't has look like the, filter. the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Is it showing your avatar's it doesn't do that to blue me. box? That's weird. That could be it. Do you think I should try changing avatars? Um, what a mystery. I have no idea. It doesn't do that for me. Um, but I don't know why. Okay. Well, we'll keep, we'll have to keep going and, uh, we'll look yeah. into it for yeah. <laughs> further streams. Sorry, Juice. But we're not going to... We'll read you things. Ignore the, the text. Or John can show through his head cam. Yes. Briefly. I can still do that. Yeah. Oh, everyone's going on. So it is really fun with the animations. I didn't even notice they weren't playing before. But it's great. <laughs> this is also very satisfying and important. Whoa. Here we go. Jumping. Scare, can you give us a read? Yeah, it says, number three, let them leap. Jumping is a very intuitive movement mechanic. If it's not enabled, people will notice. So you and can actually boy, turn do we ever. jumping in your VR chat world. But it's sad. It's so sad, sad when you can't jump. And it's very satisfying if you increase the amount and you jump really high. 
people, but like... You have to be careful not to make it too sensitive, because that can also be nauseating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some people don't like the feeling <laughs> of falling. All right. Number four. It says, light it up. Lighting can make a world of difference. It helps to blend elements together, may direct players visually, and can be used to set a mood. Absolutely. That's very true. I always love it when you are directed with lights, where it's the we're naturally attracted to lights and we automatically start moving in that direction. So just the psychology behind it, I really appreciate. And it's very true. So if you look at some of the ways that light is used in this area, it's like we've got the lighting, the under lighting around different sections that draws your attention. Oh, yeah. So it draws your attention to this like recessed area or draws your attention to this section here. And then you get to play with the fun lights. Get to play with them? What do you mean play with them? Is this well, interactive? You get oh. to walk through them. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's go give a walk Use through. Use your imagination, there. John. <laughs> <laughs> it is and fun it to like just walk There's something things. underneath. Like, you can kind of see it's going somewhere oh. down there. there. There's a red one that's like... I thought it was just like a mirror. A blue one. Or is it? Neat. Is it a mirror? No, I don't think it's a mirror. Yeah, it's a mirror. I mean, maybe it is. I can see the oh. panel. Mm, no, it's not. It is and it isn't. Is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, well, there is a blue and a red thing up there, but maybe it's also, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's keep going. <laughs> you just follow the lights, right? Yeah. Look at to... this fun thing. Oh, and it has sound. It almost emits off that Does aspect it? of warmth. It has a rumble mm. to it, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, music. <laughs> Can you hear um, this, John, or no? I can hear it, unfortunately. The other, okay. The other thing is that these panels behind us are reacting to the music. Oh, are they? So the I'll just turn the volume down. Yeah. There we go. Or you turn your world volume down for a second too. That oh, I guess work. I could do that. Wonder are they? I wonder oh, yeah, if they're using eel links. Still. Yeah, because the there's. Yes. Audio link at the beginning that you can turn on and off. Is it affecting my avatar? It is. I have audio link on. There we go. Now you can see it. So you can cool. see the waves every now and then. There we go. See right there. I see I see that you says that this music should be stream safe. Um, maybe we're actually allowed to play lo-fi girl. Oh, nice. I'm so, that's really good to know. And, uh, and Juice says it is a mirror. So you were correct, John. Okay. I was just, it like, happens once in a while see. that I get to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to enjoy Sean's this. like occasionally. <laughs> okay. You ah. were right. Whoa. So Whoa, we have choices. the do's and do nots. We have to make a choice. Let's go to a do not. Oh, this is six. Gonna, or mm, do? We're okay. going to follow the numbers. Let's go to six. Okay. Yeah. I've noticed there's all these glowy balls. What are What's they wrong with for? Glowy balls? Oh. I would like. What are I these glowy balls for? Like... It's over here. Oh, what is that, John? Oh, it's like a what stone. Oh. oh. Let's go see. Do you put them in it? Oh, cool. Ooh, that's satisfying. Here, John. Are you giving it to me? Okay. Yeah. Push. I love that. I love that. Oh, is there? Is this mirror Oh, you're filling, filling it up? up? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I guess get some more. I'll go back and get some of the other ones while you guys are looking around. Oh, there's a few. Oh, yeah. Sure. Global or local? Global. Sweet. Synchronizing is a lot of extra work, but I really appreciate it when you can do things collaboratively oh, yes. in the world. They try to make it where it's just a simple toggle of a, of a checkbox of whether or not something is synced or not. 
Sometimes it doesn't always work the way you want. Uh, it all comes down to testing. And lots of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, almost there. I think we're yeah. just missing uh, Did like we read number six? No, I don't Not think we did. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe because we were already doing it. <laughs> oh, what do we got? It says, encourage exploration. Give players a reason to look around with interesting locations, paths, events, collectibles, and rewards. So clearly Which... it worked because we got really interested in the collectibles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now we have to find them and we're going to fill it up. We don't know why we want to fill yep. it up. Yep. We just do. Just, Which is what your users do. will want as well. They don't know why they're trying to fill this up. They just want the sense of completion. Should we go back to this We need the now? catharsis. Sure. Oh, seven. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's, look at, let's read this I first. I can read this one for you. Okay. Yeah, it says, number seven, consider consistency. Try not to mix visually unrelated shaders, props, themes, and concepts unless there's a good reason. I, I need to be told this. Kind of... <laughs> this is a lesson for me, right? Oh, look, an orb. So, like, it's great because I feel like this table came, like, straight out of something like Phasmophobia. Like, this is giving me, like, you know, horror Some vibes. Asset pack. I'm a little, this, this toilet's a little upsetting, too. Uh, especially that there's a frying pan on top. There's also a blue orb in the toilet, which I am. Oh my gosh! Take out. It's the last two, and then there's the last one on the couch. The toilet, Dylan, yeah. do you want to grab? Oh, oh my okay. gosh! There What's looking at us underneath that wall? There's... Oh, oh. What? I didn't yep. notice that. Is that just? A, is that just a shader? I feel like that's just a shader. I don't know, that's but it's so great scary. and horrifying. Here, John. Here's one for you. Yay! Maybe we can all go put them in the thing. So you, you see, like, yes, yeah, mm. this area is just very hodgepodge-ish, and it doesn't give a sense of cohesiveness. And while it can be an effect to make the user feel the disconnectedness, which can also draw their eye, when their eye is constantly drawn to this and to that, and they can't sense a pattern, it makes it hard to to figure things out or to realize what's off. When everything is off. There he is. You have last one. The last oh, there's one more. One. It's Ooh, the last is, melon. Oh, look at that. It's coming down oh, right over. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What's coming down? I don't have anything. This. No, it's not. Do you see this? I still have. A, I still have one more. Oh, what? Yeah. I still have one more to do right over here. Oh, the world knew that John enjoyed this process and he didn't get to do enough ball finding. Oh, I feel like we're not supposed oh. to do this yet. <laughs> yeah, should we go to eight first? Maybe this is the way oh, to okay. eight. It's over here. Is John? it? Oh, there's more orbs. Eight's over more here. More orbs. <laughs> Hi, right, eight. So this one says, reduce and reuse. Optimize environments by combining textures, limiting materials, and removing unseen geometry when it's reasonable to do so. My Kix avatar is terrible for this. I have like seven materials on it. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then look um, at the way this is set up. So this one's in the green, and then this one's in the red part of the carpet. And it's showing the two same environments, but with and without kind of. So if you look like at atlasing. the edges here, yeah. Oh yeah, so like unneeded materials on the outside have been removed, or yeah, yeah geometry actually. Geometry, yeah. yeah. And then they've atlas some materials there onto one onto one. Oh uh, yeah. Square. Do so you see? Rather than having them all separate. And what that will do, that will help reduce your world size as well, as well as the processing, which will, if you're trying to make your world's quest compatible, especially, this is important. Yeah, and I've, I've never made a quest compatible world yet because I'm still trying to understand exactly how to work with all the quest compatible shaders. I definitely know mm. it's not possible. I keep trying to convert worlds I've already made, which is probably a bad idea. I should probably just start with a quest-friendly quest world, but yeah. <laughs> 
There's an orb here. Should we go up? Or oh, yeah, should we maybe go? Maybe we should go up. I don't know. Well, oh, yeah, okay, let's go up. Let's go do it. Let's see how far this ah. uh, this hole goes. No. <laughs> my, my jumpy no worky. Because I see more so orbs up like here. Playing chicken horse. <laughs> what is this? Mirror voucher. A mirror voucher? <laughs> you were warded with a mirror? That is the most VR chat thing ever. That's amazing. Okay, okay I'm holding on to this. Oh. Do you think we're supposed to drop down here? I don't know. So, oh, you break oh, through no, it. So, oh. Whoa. Cool. Oh, what? To some glass. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Neat. That's great. Great addition oh there, Juice. Oh, love love that. Do you have to like sweep it up? Oh. Oh my oh. god, you are. <laughs> and here is a great UI aspect. Intuition or intuitive design. How do you or you see a broom? How do you use the broom? Amazing. There, cleaned. Now I want to know what do we do with the voucher? There's an upside down tree. Oh. No. Okay. Where's the scout? There's uh, scout. Shall we go read number nine? Hello. Hello. Or yeah. actually, maybe I got it. Okay, I got this one. I'll hold on to you for later. <laughs> so. Number nine. Don't take control. One, oh. Manipulating the player's vision with excessive effects is guaranteed to cause nausea. Avoid doing this without consent or warning. So, what yeah. does that mean? Let's find out. <laughs> I, now, who's got their we ginger? Do that, which I think we can do right here. Um, this this whole wall is full of good things. Oh, D Dylan's just going. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. oh my. Oh, oh my! You went on the you went on the red thing, didn't you, Dylan? Yep, I did. I went in the red. That's okay. Oof. Let's see what happens. Hey, this is just like my normal VR experience. Ha ha ha! ha. Just kidding. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh, hooray. Okay, John. You oh, put whoa, your head whoa! Show this. Is this? Oh, it, yeah, it's showing. Oh gosh. This isn't. Oh, it is showing. Oh, jeez. This is not the same in 2D that it is in <laughs> VR. Absolutely not. Binko says, uh-oh, I feel like I could hurl at this portion. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yep. <laughs> oh, Oops, I stepped in it. <laughs> I stepped in it. <laughs> so I wanted to, I really wanted to show up both sides of this wall um, because they're so cool. Like, I love how it's showing like, hey, like try to hide seams on your assets if there's, if there's seams. Um, when you when you approach this one really close, this red line goes away that's showing where the seam is. But when you're far away from it, you can see where the seam is. And it's showing that they're using like a vine and a ladder to kind of help hide it. Neat. Oh yeah. So you and see that vine these coming have down. A slider um, that you can point at with your pointer and, and change. So this one, um, if you go to the red side, it unsoftens the smoke. And if you Soften go to the green particle yeah. edges. Oh, yeah, oh, I totally noticed this in edges. some places where, like, yeah, it... they're not softened on the edges, and then, like, oh, So, if anyone doesn't know, yeah. A, yeah. a particle effect just applies a picture in a two-dimensional space. So, by not so having not softened edges, you can see how, like, very abrupt changes uh to that image like where it begins where it ends how when it interacts with objects by softening the edges it allows for it to blend in better yeah <laughs> and this is great because people these are also visible um at the moment the the writing so um 
Use compression to reduce file size, but try not to overdo it. So when you see compression, it becomes more pixelated, oh. losing detail and color. And music happens the same way, actually, where if you incre if you decrease the file size of music, it it sounds more crackly or more distorted. Sometimes you're losing the quality of it. Consider roll and render alignment when using particles with smoke, fog, or shapes. Roll and render alignment. So you guys oh. have had this experience a lot with plants and stuff. Like perfectly following your head kind of makes you feel a bit nauseous sometimes. Yeah. So like how does I guess I don't I don't know. Um, I don't really understand this one. Yeah. I think know? there's a way to control so well, when we set it to the red, it's completely following where our head is, right? Um, oh. And if we set it to oh, yeah. green, it's so not following our head anymore. Yeah. And so, so it's now just it saying, like, consider which direction things should be able to rotate when you're using them for parts of your world. So like that, this smoke right. over here, um, I think, I was trying to say, yes. is it rotating? So, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> if you, it follows If we turn it on hard head. Yeah. and you turn your head. Oh, you, you can't really see that, I guess. Um, <laughs> actually, here we go. We'll, uh, I'll bring the camera this, back. You can see it on this one quite well, yeah. So if I take the camera... So like, it's not always wrong to use it with the movement, yeah. but it depends on what it's for, right? Indeed. So if I and turn I my head... If there's not very... Sometimes you can see the particles moving. I don't know if it's really coming through in this one, but you you notice it in some words yeah, when you move your head. Yeah, it shows much better on the other one. But you need to do that for certain and particles, more. but not necessarily all objects. <laughs> so here's a bunch that I always fight with. Um, I just want to say, yeah. uh, Binko said it freaking follows you. <laughs> <laughs> Famous Dylan quote. Yeah, pretty. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> So try try the fun of turning this one on. High frequency details. Ooh, high Ooh. frequency details to prevent shimmering and flick, flick, flickering. Oh, oh. God. oh yeah. So in VR, you know? this is a bad time. Ooh. Yeah, things um, that really like can give you a headache. Yeah, because you know when when it's on your screen, you might be able to handle it because you have other things to focus on. When it's in VR, it's right in your face, right directly in your eyes. So what's Here's this? One Bloom you, is great, Bloom. except when it's not. So many people like Bloom, many people hate Bloom. It has a great ambience effect for some worlds, but sometimes it makes things just too bright or makes it feel like your lenses are dirty. Yeah. Keep this. players near the world origin to avoid floating point issues. Oh. This is the thing I was talking about recently when we were developing stuff in Horizon, eh? What, is it, yeah. what does this mean, actually? I, I'm not familiar with this one, with the so key players near the world origin. I, I've seen this talked about a few, I've seen it talked about a few times, and basically the farther away you get from zero, 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 sometimes the more difficulty the computer has calculating your location oh, um, and the location of objects. Because the numbers get bigger. Um, and so, yeah, exactly. And so that's why when we were working recently on some stuff, I was making sure that we started in the center of the world. And, uh, you know, any expansion was equally expanded from there rather than, like, starting at, you know, 2,000 away from center and going from there because we'd run into more issues. Um, right. And I just, I think I learned that from YouTube videos. I don't really know. And probably from this world as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, because Scott and I actually have been here before. <laughs> wow. We liked it so much. We came back. This Now, this is another one a lot. Z fighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, Z fighting. You see that? Great oh, way yeah. to show Z fighting, though. It can be used as a form oh, yeah. of art at Flickering times. Time. This one is so but... hard, avoiding Z fighting. Oh, yeah. Because like when you're placing things, oops, 
lost my tracker. Um, when you're placing things and you want to have, like, let's say you want something sitting oh, on the ground is a little different. Like, let's say you need two wall joints to like go perfectly together. It's really hard to get it just right so that there's not like a gap, but mm. also not too close that you end up with Z fighting. This is why we very much enjoy snapping in our Yeah, when you can engines. snap objects together, that's nice. Yep. Um, totally. But this also gets into why hiding your seams over here is important. This, if you can't avoid Z fighting, maybe you can hide it with uh, Although, other assets there is and no objects. no Z fighting on this one. No, there isn't. No, but it's, uh, I feel it gets at that than, point as well. Yeah. But yeah. I think we have yeah. in the past needed to hide a Z fight, a Z fight here or there, maybe. Hide <laughs> Z fight. <laughs> Make it fun. Make it fun. You gonna read this one, Dylan? Yeah, I like this one. This is my favorite thing. Um, so in any kind of like interactive design, I really enjoy thinking about how to make it fun. Um, as like a learning designer, I like to think about how to make learning fun. Um, and so this is, yeah, this one is great. Uh, add pizzazz to an experience with interactive pickups, games, media, and more. Fun. Make Yay. it fun, highly important. People remember things better if they're having fun. If you're trying to teach, fun. if you make it engaging, <laughs> Or having fun, Fog. students are more likely to remember. <laughs> oh, I'm still my head, not not the oh camera. My gosh. Oh. So, for anyone who, for anyone who's not familiar, this is the this is the the juice box. The juice I box. Oh, love the juice this box. box so much. And it's a ball. I really want juice one box one. ball. Oh, had to go check. <laughs> Juice just asked, uh, y'all still have those mirror vouchers? And no. uh, I do. I just keep bringing mine along and setting it down. You're going to need it. I forgot mine. Okay. I should go run back oh. then. Oh. <laughs> I put it down over here. Yeah. I, I put mine not down not too far away. I, I think I put it over here. Did I? I had to drop it because I couldn't control the camera. And now I lost it. Oh no! Did it respawn? Maybe it respawned. No, it didn't respawn. Oh no. Now, if only I could remember where in the stream I dropped it. Because I don't think it was here. I think it was... I thought it was around here. Dylan, Scout, I can't find my voucher. Yeah, yeah. Dylan can use my beer, my, my what? beer voucher. Her local... <laughs> They're local. Yeah. yeah. Hey, where, where did yours? you get those? <laughs> no, you can use my mirror voucher. That's fine. No, they're, they're local. local. He can't use uh... yours. What did you do with yours? I don't know. I dropped it because I had to work the camera. <laughs> and I don't remember where I dropped oh, no. it. I thought I, I thought well, I dropped it around here. We won't. We're not going to be able to see it. What about in here? Did you leave it in here? I don't oh my see gosh, it. This is like you've lost your keys or something. <laughs> yep. This is exactly how but that it's goes. It's even worse because I can't help you find them. <laughs> did you did you check upstairs again? I did. It didn't respawn. Well, no, I just meant like you might have left it somewhere there. Oh, no, is it, it inside the glass that I swept up? No, because I still had it with me at that point. Yeah, I swept up the glass. Oh, well, John, you need the mirror. Can we refill the thing? Will it? No, maybe not. I don't oh, think that'll work. maybe. I wonder what happens if we drop more orbs in it. 
Because there are more orbs. <laughs> oh, John. Now it's become like a game for the stream. Like, uh, help John no. find his mirror voucher. Why did the music suddenly come back? This is me? why we don't give John multiple tasks. <laughs> <laughs> John is great at multitasking because he'll just drop yeah. one. Yeah, that's really cool. I didn't have to because I thought it was here. Oh, see, I feel like I dropped it over Can here. I mirror voucher? It doesn't help. The video is playing on this. I don't know. Yeah, I have my mirror. I, <laughs> it just enables a mirror. I can't miss out on a mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got into the red part. Okay, we'll have to move on. I'm going to miss the mirror. It's okay. We'll tell you what happens. Yeah. I'm okay. guessing there, it involves a mirror. I am Mace Windu. <laughs> Johnny, you got to try walking through here. It sounds nice. Oh. I'll have to turn on my world volume then. Oh. Nope, there's music somewhere. I think that's just lo-fi girl. Yep, I just had to stop it. You're that's far. Okay, here we go. It's a ninja star. Or a shuriken. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Pretty. So we this thing, this is new since we were here last, John. This thing on the wall. You want to try it? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Start race. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so click to bet. Uh, I choose prat. I'm going to go for horse. I'll go I. <laughs> Pride horse I. Okay, go race. Oh, fun. Oh, and they're balls. Ah. Oh, oh, it's ball oh, race. oh, oh, no. it's a race. Come on, eyeball. Yeah, yeah, you go. Oh, Come no, on. that's not good. Go pride, go oh. pride. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that oh. ball is yes. sus. Yes, yes. No. Oh, Come no. On. Come on. Oh. Stupid black ball. Crap. Eight ball got, held me back. <laughs> no. Oh, eight ball. You ruined me. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Levitating. Oh, there's still more. Ha ha. Come on, come on, come on. No, stop pushing me out of the way. Huh? Boing, boing. Oh, bet oh. again? Oh, geez, oh. what? Oh, because you get uh, payouts at different times. Oh, oh. I, I missed my bet. Darn it. That's why I get for trying to worry. That is, yeah. that is really cool. Very Come on, eyeball. I'm going to still count it. Physics sim, physics sim. I love you even though my chances are slim. <laughs> That's really fun. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Oh, eyeball, you're letting me down. Oh. Oh, no. Reverse gravity. Oh, All the pegs. Oh, the every pegs time they hit them, and they disappear. <gasps> oh. 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 oh, yes. Oh. 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 I have negative $2. I have $4. Wow, Dylan got $4. Of course <laughs> he did. I chose red on the second round. Oh, good job, Dylan. <laughs> you betrayed Dylan the pride. Oh. Well, it let me down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting my mirror voucher. Eyeball oh, let me down. Um, Juice says that Fax Machine made the marble race prefab. This, what oh, we just oh, it's nice. a prefab. That's nice. Cool. Yeah. Oh, fun. So if anyone Thanks. wants to add this to the world, follow Fax Machine, uh, who also has a coffee as well. 
see you there in the class. What are we doing here? Oh, I left my my mirror voucher. Isn't this cool, John? So what is it? So it's, it says, do the impossible, number 11. And we have an extremely cool, whatever is happening here is really neat. It's all floating and moving. So this is great. This is where you can like really, really break the bounds of, of what we think is possible. Um, and that's, you know, one of VR's greatest possibilities, right? Is we get to experience what it's like to be in these spaces that cannot happen in it's, real life. This is a common theme that we often find in games, movies, when the world deconstructs itself in this fashion. And it's always a great theme. And it's it's the impossible. It's It looks cool. It's very poetic, has meaning, and is a great way to involve a story. Look back. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, so And I so always pretty. love those types of shaders. <laughs> Actually, I don't think that's a shader. Ooh, a zoom background. This is, um, you get to see a lot of this effect in Juice's world, uh, Five Skies. Oh which right! Has, like, these Five portals between amazing, the different yeah. sections. Yeah. Can you okay. see the thing behind us, John? The uh, the moving mirror. Yeah, that's showing up on the camera that's too. So cool, eh? It's like Is the this beginning. A portal. Oh. I think it's a teleporter. So you can see there's no other side. So it's that we start to go through it. We'll go through it sideways. So you see, and then all of a sudden you're teleported. Hello. I really love the sound design in this world too. Sound design yeah. does not get enough attention because Wait a minute. sound design is something that you don't notice. When I look through the mirror. Are, are you ready? Sorry, this one said 12. Now it says one. Huh? Hmm. We, so we kind of missed one. When you go through the, when you look through the mirror, that banner says number 12. Yeah, Maybe but it's a portal way. to the beginning, but the beginning's changed. But we didn't actually read what it said. <laughs> it said etiquette. Oh, no, no, like the banner. I don't know what oh. you're talking about. The text about. banner over there, the one that says number one. Uh-huh. Which you can't oh, see on did camera. Did it say something? Did it say it 12 said number when 12. you got in here? When you look through the, okay, when you look through the moving go. mirror. I will go find out. <laughs> Why don't you explain to John Here, what happens John, with the mirror? This is okay. So this oh, is this where, is where you put the voucher. We come back to this. Yeah. So you put the voucher in here, spins around, and it becomes a toggle for a mirror. Oh. And then it opens up both sides, and and is a mirror on both sides. Well, I guess and it's you're one of those all going to have to come here to, if you really want to see this. <laughs> It's one of those Can't mirrors that like is kind of um, like the background's been all blurred and kind of textured okay. and then you can see yourself. What's these things? Oh, little terrariums. Oh, are these portals to skip through oh. the different sections? Yeah, they are. John, Scout yeah. says it says number one. I swear it said number 12. Hmm. These are so cute. If we jump to this section, we can go. So it actually activates mirrors in, in all the parts of the world, too, when you use that mirror oh, thing. Oh, yeah. There's a mirror. Oh. The mirrors are working. Neat. Even if it didn't say 12, though, it or did it make us want to come back one. and check. Yeah. The 12 Maybe tip was things. only for you, John. <laughs> Maybe it said 12. Who knows? I'll have... You know what? I need to go back to the stream at some point and see if it says 12. I swear it said 12. But. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that teleport feels so smooth. It's really neat. 
Juice. So juice. What? Oh. Juice. How is your teleport so smooth? Oh. To come back here. I feel like one of the things that adds to the smoothness is when you can see where it's going and it lines up perfectly with Ooh. where you're going to be teleporting. If you collect all the collectibles, uh, yes, we do want to oh, collect Oh, you know what? I was just going to say, Easter egg. <laughs> like, Juice, oh, I love that you give extra uh, of the glowing stones. <laughs> but apparently, you can collect them all. Okay. Which is like, you know, maybe that's a great way of doing Easter eggs. Oh, cool. Portal room. If you like all of Juice's worlds. Wait, no, these aren't all Juice's worlds, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. I really liked Pearl's Cabin, by the way. That was an amazing one. It's cool. Okay, so we're looking for stones. We're looking for stones. If you happen to see some glowing stones, give us a shout. Aha! I got me one. Oh, was that all of them? I got one. I got one you missed. Stuff turned red. Oh, it's red. Oh yeah, it's red now. What, does that change something at the very end of the world? Oh, it's moving, it's moving. It's the basement area. It's moving. Over here. Moving. Oh, look. <gasps> what? There we go. Oh this. my gosh. Oh. oh, what, that's so cool. Oh. Also in worlds, Easter eggs cool. are a great way to add airs of mystery and rewards for oh, completion. And then you get some people talking about it and then other people who may maybe missed it and it creates a way of getting people back into your world. So replayability. So you could actually see this area a little bit from up here. Yeah. And I was I'm, wondering I was how we get down here. I was like, here. oh, what's that area? Yeah. That's so fun. I'm so glad you told us, Juice. Yes, thank you for letting us know. Do, do. Oh, what are you two doing in there? I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Da ba dee da ba da. Da ba da ba dee da ba da. What a great world. You know, it can take a really long time to kind of learn these principles from like, you know, reading the Twitters and like going to worlds. And I'm just, I love this world so much because of how it puts them all together so that people can actually try them and experience them all at the same time and see what difference it makes. I just, I just love it. I love it a lot. It's such a good This cool. is amazing. Mm -hmm. So Juice says about the portal, uh, for teleporting, I think the combination of a short audio burst a fade in transition, and in this case, having a cube map visual that lines up with the entrance helps exactly. the transition. That, that was my theory. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So by seeing where you're going to be teleporting to, it's not as jarring. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is another great world wow. artist if you want to learn about interactive design. <laughs> Jar is an amazing uh, game creator in VR chat. <laughs> So this was a real treat, I guess. Yeah, this is so great. And I love that we even missed things the first time, which is like, yeah, yeah. there was more to yeah. see. So great. All right, you keep chatting and then drop a portal. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, we still have other worlds. Juice, <laughs> Shoot. Juice spent so much time said, I'm glad here. you had three. <laughs> Good. Yeah, OK. Um, Juice says, I'm glad you had the chance to visit this one. It's one I'm quite proud of. Yeah, you should oh, be. You should be. It's really, really great. It's it's so awesome. I, I was just wandering through here thinking, man, if I if I get some friends, like, I feel like if I made a list of like, you know, worlds to visit for people who would like to start making VR chat worlds or just VR worlds in general, um, I would definitely recommend this world. It's wonderful. And it's just fun. It's fun in here. It's super fun. 
<laughs> um, what else to say? Uh, so far, the trackers on my feet have stayed attached. The uh, the method, the shoelace method, is working. It's far superior to actually putting the strap on my feet, which I was doing before. Oh, and we got a portal. Let's go. What's in it? Ooh. Rough. Thanks so much, Juice. Great world. Love it. Uh, great world, as Scott mentioned, for anyone. Uh, we could all, everyone needs refreshers on the do's and don'ts. And going through that world just when you're at the start of creating a world is a great way to remember the basics. Love it. Ooh, pretty. This looks cool. Dylan, you wanna, should we talk about it? Yeah, I, sorry. Are you okay? Kind of, kind of feel like, I feels just, like soft I didn't, walls, doesn't it? Well, I didn't, they're moving. Do, do oh, you notice that they oh are God. interactive? They are. Yes. Like you can. Oh my. Oh, oh my trippy. They're like springy. Whoa. I knew there was a reason you were staring at the wall. <laughs> and they changed color. It became more green. And it's fading. Oh, yeah, it is changing color. It's fading back to its gray. Oh, wow. The more you touch it, the brighter it gets? Yeah. Because it's, it's like the more it oh moves. Oh, my gosh. I can't see it when you do it. I can see it when I do it. Oh. Keep touching. Keep so there touching. we go. You can see it getting more yellow. More, you know, getting like orange. Huh? We're That's going into red. Quite something I I feel like I'm inside like a stomach or something. I've never experienced <laughs> a wall that moves like that. That is fascinating. Oh no! I bruised the wall. I mean, oh jeez. <laughs> okay, should That's we get amazing. a shot of this sign and okay, can introduce? Yeah, let's let's introduce this. Um... <laughs> So this is the Omochi Museum, an exhibition of interactive user interface design experiments. And it's by uh, Phi 16, P-H-I 16. Um, Sorry, now I'm kicking the wall with my feet because I can also do that. <laughs> <laughs> when I came in here earlier, I didn't even notice that the floors and the walls did this. Um, oh, the floors so are doing it too? Like quickly preview it yeah well when i left what i noticed first when i loaded oh. it i was like whoa what is going on with the floor so if you have <laughs> uh feet tracking you can do it because i don't think i don't think my feet are doing it are you ha are you playing with the floor <laughs> i think i have to move i was i was stomping yeah on i had to it, i had to I rub my the... foot like well <laughs> Okay, wow. let's start wow. let's start going through. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be we could be here all day, folks. Just just kicking uh, the floor. This is why Johnny's okay. Uh, uh, full body tracking apparently. Oh, what's this note? The forward. So, uh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we can't read this. My Japanese is not. Any good. one of those things? Yeah. Um, any one of those things that people have started making those things where you can take snapshots and it will translate. It'll like. It'll um, run it through like the translating algorithm things, mm. which are not perfect, but gives you an idea of what something says. Which Japanese is is a very hard language to translate. Um, one of the things I always say when you're learning Japanese is it's a very different thought process. It's thinking differently in a different direction almost. Yeah, the auto translators are getting better. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, I guess we'll follow this line. Oh, follow the line. Okay. I go up the wall. Nope. I don't go up the wall. Okay. Oh, are you making this? Are you sculpting? Yeah. Yeah, we can see it. You're muted, Scout. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's a potter's wheel, and I, I turned it on, and now it's letting me... Oh, wow. Oh, do, you have to, do you have to click that really to neat. activate it, or is it just... 
Uh, so uh, I clicked it. this orange thing to turn it on. Um, I think okay. one of you guys can try if I reset it. Um, and then I'm just touching it with this. I'm not clicking. Oh. That's so neat. Cool. <laughs> Red, blue turns it off. You... And then I can actually pick it up. Look at that. Oh. I can pick the mesh up. Oh. Neat. Nice. Did you see what Kevin said? And then this red. Zero hallucinogens needed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Rokuro. Oh, maybe those are things you can. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can read hiragana and katakana. We can't read kanji. Oh. Oh. Well. I don't know if those are for that. <laughs> what are some? Oh. Rogan. <laughs> so, Juice also tried doing the auto trans uh, the Google Translate. Oh, oh, neat. Just. Oh, use the search images. Oh, right. Smart, Juice. Thank you. Mm, I'll have to huh. keep that in mind. Well, we'll keep that in mind. I'm, I appreciate there is English on these. This one says program board, and it's from April 2018, and it was in a private world. Koda um, program board. De program. Oh, so you write programming um, with these blocks, okay. and then you can activate it. Oh. Kyo, Kyobu? Kyobu. Kyo so this is like a block. Oh, Kyobu program. Yeah. Literally. Program the cubes. Yeah. yeah. Block based yeah. movement. Yeah, literally like oh. block based coding. That's so neat. I love this visual thing that shows up on top. Like, does it change oh. if it we tells put you a if you broke in? it? You pull something out and it's like. So you're giving directions. Oh, you broke it. And you have to get to, from the beginning to the end. Cool. That's neat. Mm, particle wand. So do you have to Ooh. play? Press play or something? Or? Oops. Okay, my desk. Oh. I can move that. Oh. I just moved that. Is that setting the what is, start? What does the stick point? do? The stick does something too. Error, error. Oh, when I think you have the beginning and you have the end. I don't know what the stick does. Yeah, character and goal. Okay. We're only gonna, we're so excited to have all these worlds. We're only gonna make it to like two worlds yeah. today, which is totally fine. Look Should at this thing. Through? Look at this. Ooh. Did, it, did you grab, is it local? Did you guys try grabbing the wand? It's global. I could see it. Oh, it's yeah. really neat. Oh, wow. Or you can see. Oh, there's, oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, the longer you stay still, the more it'll concentrate in that one location. And then. Kind of like that avatar we play with. It's so satisfying. Oh. I remember the first time I saw a particle effect like this in VR, I was just like, oh my goodness. That is so cool. It's like the closest to what like real life magic might look like, you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> it is in 3D. So good. Can you imagine What's when we get that one? into AR? Ooh, oh, look, look at your feet. Floor. A ripple floor. Woo. Can we kick the ball? <laughs> no. We had this on a dance floor throw the world ball. once. It was a lot of fun. Is today is, is today uh, the 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 stream where we go? John John's like I can't wait till I have full body dragging. <laughs> oh yeah, my feet don't quite work the same as theirs do. Look at theirs, Dylan tap dancing in their chair. <laughs> wow, there's a lot to play with, and then you can also see the graph over here. Uh, huh, almost like the weight oh, aspect. Ooh, right. We have just a canvas. Sure, just a canvas. 
Oh, sorry. That no, one. you go. Prism. Oh, neat. Oh. Okay, picture color. <laughs> this is one of the things that I find so difficult difficult about drawing in VR. Is like dealing with the. How depth. far do you push in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you don't get the sense of feel, it's hard to I I the hard size. to know. Yeah, you're changing the size somehow. How did I do Is it your joystick? No. Nope. Huh. Is it the touchpad? <laughs> like you have a you have a Maybe. swipe pad, right? Oh, oh yeah. no. Like a scroll pad. Good guess though. Gosh, I don't know. But what this about is... clicking. No. Oh oh, oh. oh. you're right. What is it? It is clicking. So if I hold oh. down the trigger, it's gigantic now. It's uh, it, and then it, there's this whole triangular interface that pops up. Oh. And the closer oh. you are to the triangle, the bigger the brush is. So this this must be this thing that people are using to paint these beautiful pictures in VR chat. Because this this is giving me like, like it actually feels like using a brush. It actually has like a nice yeah, it's like a calligraphy brush. Yeah. So I know a few artists okay, that here, could Dylan, you try. do real great with this. How cool though to do like landscape painting, you know, but you're actually like in VR. There's a really yeah, there's a really talented artist named Liz Edwards, uh, who was often doing like like uh would would take their headset and go into like Half Life and to the new Half Life Alex and like paint scenes in there with Photoshop overlaid <laughs> and a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Not very good calligraphy, but <laughs> John could read it. <laughs> I knew what you're going for. <laughs> oh, this one was in Virtual Lucky. Market 2 in March 2019. Oh. Wow, it looks really neat. Wonder Is this a does. board game? Or not board, a uh, video game? Did you grab it? Oh, I clicked on the use button and it seems oh. to be doing something. The oh, whole thing is that a changed. loading screen? Yeah. Oh. John, click this and you'll see. Oh. Oh, and, then oh, and now you're... Oh, oh. You're playing a game. Oh, and things are happening out here. Wow. When that happened. I'm not sure how you're playing or what it is you're supposed to do. Yeah, I have no idea what the aim is. What great effects, though. That's so cool. It looks amazing. <laughs> looks mm -hmm. so nice. Fear of Cypher. Ooh. So, like, this one I looked at briefly before, and I couldn't... <gasps> Oh, oh, there's text there. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how it works, but there's text here. Is it? Do you have to unlock it through this? Faded. Somehow? Oh, things change when you pick up the key. Whoa, they're yeah, all shifting. Yeah, things are moving around. Hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't know how it works, but it's really pretty. Oh. What's this one? It is still consistent. We always love these museums because it's <laughs> getting to Juice's point of do the impossible. Yeah. This is exactly what people the do. The shape of the block and the color of the block, the thing around the tube is changing when you move. Oh. Oh. What? Like the shape is actually changing yeah. in the parts that you can't see. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. It, it's, it's a real life Escher leg. And, you know, it, it's covering up the seam oh, with wow. the pole so that That's... way it gives the illusion. That is so cool. Amazing. Wow. 
This is all very trippy. <laughs> D zero six two nine. I'm gonna let June twenty ninth. Dylan, do you want to try touching whatever this interface is? It looks. This quite looks like neat. a Dylan thing. <laughs> oh look, that's changing. Something. Huh. Wow. Oh, neat. It does seem is to there... be changing what's appearing. Oh, okay. What's wrong, John? Oh, yeah. Oh. So what are you doing? I'm not sure. You can grab a lot of these things. Each seems to change some aspect. This is where I wish my Japanese was better so I could read instructions. <laughs> wow. Where did Skoko? Oh, oh! I'm down here. I wonder if you change things for the person down there. Wow. Can you get back up here? Oh yeah, it, it looks great. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, it does look like it. Oh yeah. Okay, good. They made it so I can. That's nice. Wow, well that's really neat. Hourglass. Can you turn Ooh, them you over? You want to try, John? Oh yeah, you can. And it fills up. Whoops. You can also drop them, but thankfully they don't break like they would. I put it. Oh my gosh! Don't let me play with the hourglass. Do they all move at the same speed? Do I like it. Uh, this past year, it? there has been some cool. amazing improvements. Actually, actually, not past year, but <laughs> past two years. There has been amazing improvements in fluid dynamics. A popular game, aka not Tetris. Nice. Oh, yeah. This one. So you start the game down here. You got to pull that thing, okay? And then okay. this moves it. Oh, this... wow. Nice you see sounds. it, John? Show us your skills. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not good at Tetris. Do, 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 do. Oh shoot, I can't sing that. Nintendo will. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo's gonna find you, John. Oh, oh they find oh, everyone. Changed. Wow, that's really great sound effects on there. Can you hear those, John? Yeah. Neat. Nice. I'm still more of a fan of Dr. Mario. Tetris is still good. Oh, come on. Good job. We got to see you get a line the next time. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. Get a line it. for us. Yeah. Woohoo. Hey. Good job, Dylan. <laughs> Okay, I need to walk away Silver from this. and you. Oh, okay. Silver so, and you. I'm noticing actually a bunch of these have the faded Ooh. out text that <gasps> is hard to read. I'm kind of wondering why. John. I think you got to touch it, John. Touch what? Touch it. Touch the I silver don't see anything thing. here. You don't see anything in the middle of this? No. When you okay. walk up, there's nothing there? No. Like a hair sim or something. How come you don't see this? Oh, shoot. Did you know you have something over your head that can control your motion? What? Yeah. What? I have what this little orb about? on my head. 
that when you oh. you can drag yourself around. You can. <gasps> you're right. Oh, you can also Oh my fly. god. We. Ah. <laughs> there goes my team, everybody. Your friend sounds like they've totally lost it, and you're just like. <laughs> What, John? What do you mean you have a thing above your head? <laughs> what do you mean you see silver things? So, yeah. do you, so you walk into that circle? How does this text look to you? It says silver and you. And April 2020. 2020 public world. Do you see the faded text? Or is it solid? Yes. It's faded? I can't faded. Read it, though. It's not yet. Okay. You gotta walk so, up. It should fade in a bit slowly, John. It's It's really not. Do you maybe need to turn off your camera? I wonder if the camera is like. Oh. Okay. No, I can see it from here. Huh, well, that's weird. That's too bad that you can't see it. No. Hmm. Weird. Aww. Well, it's like a bunch of silver hair strands, and you can touch them like a hair sim. Oh, that sounds cool. Sorry, John. I don't know why you can't see it. That's great. It's like, yeah, like really hmm. accurate hair sim. So this one says garden. Garden. It's from Virtual Market Four. Oh, it's moving a little bit. Oh, is it? Uh... They're kind of like. Is it interacting with us? Oh, the cubes are moving. Yeah. Cubes oh are moving. yeah. There we go. There's a thing that says no perfect sink and it looks like a bottle of coffee beans or a thing of coffee beans or something. Oh, so if you want this, you can get this at the at their booth, maybe. Yeah. Cool. I love That's this neat. like Minecrafty like forest, but because it's very blockish, you notice the movement a bit better. It's kind of neat. I love this. Great way to do like a maze or something. Interaction on the map. <laughs> yes. Oh, here we have Ooh. projection. Whirling. Who remembers dot product. <laughs> nope, not me. What are you, what's that? Uh, dot product is just one of the things you can use to calculate the projection of a 3D object onto a 2D surface. Oh. Oh. Ooh, fun. Can you see what I'm doing, John, making these blocks? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't see you creating them. I see them up here when you're done creating them, I think. H how are you doing that? I'm holding this wand. Try it, Dylan. Oh, they've got colliders on them, too. Here. Oh, really? Try holding it. It's really Oh, neat. yeah. Oh. Ooh. It makes this really nice noise that oh. goes like dun-dun, dun-dun, dun-dun. Oh, nice. John will have to try it. But the faster you move, it feels like, like, I don't know, really neat. Let John try. People okay, on the stream can hear the sound. Gotta pull the trigger. Oh. I just don't go too far. We're going to block the next exhibit. <laughs> Oh, you, could you can make multiple blocks like at the same eight. time. Yeah. So. Cool. What a. Wow, so each of these what? dials changes how the base shape that's moving is shaped. So if you oh. turn one. Oh. 
So that made like there's more more ripples. divots. Yeah. yeah. And the middle one makes it flatter or rounder. You can see I'm making oh. a circle on one side. Oh, that looks so cool. Weird. And it seems like oh. it's just using general Pretty physics, maybe, for oh. everything else. Wow. <laughs> Juice says math is so dang cool. Oh, right? Especially the graphical yeah. use of it. Oh. Ooh, fun. A particle, particle fan. fan. Oh. Do you feel cooler? Is that helping? <laughs> they said yes. <laughs> oh, I'm muted. Sorry. <laughs> uh, how about you, John? Does this feel better uh, for our dear viewers? Nice cool down. Getting brushed with some That's ice. That's really fun. Definitely try that. Water. Water. Oh, yep. I was going to say, this seems like something that would be in Shader Fest. And sure enough. <laughs> okay, try grabbing it, though. That's so great. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Look at the lighting on that. Give it another shake. One more shake. Wow. Look at things change color and the rip. It doesn't ripple, but it does wave. Oh, so this way, the light, because the light's on the, the square there. So oh. now it's lighting through the water. Oh, so you nice. see the, the water. You see the caustics. <laughs> Reading those. The those caustics, caustics up on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And at the mesh, you can see through the outside, like it's an, an inverted mesh. So no matter which direction you look at it, you can see the two walls opposite you and that's it. Or the three walls. Shaders. Oh, that's fascinating. Gosh. They're just downright sorcery. Yeah. So I feel like, when you, I feel when like you talk about the chat just... <laughs> hmm? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, when you talk about the wand being like magic, in real life, like with the particles, this is what it would look like. This yeah. is, <laughs> this is, Shaders is like magic, but like VR magic level, where it's like, yeah, I can't believe True. this. That is very, very, very fun. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. A hole and loops, which is this world. Oh, so we're in a giant shader. Oh, wow. Oh. All the hole and loops, which is the shader that we're standing on and been touching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this world has been great. Wow. You can see cool the other areas world. that we've been to. But I think we need to head off to the next one, right, Dylan? I guess. Where's Dylan? What's the that was so cool. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. I'm here. <laughs> Dylan's like, I was touching the wall again. This wanna... move. Did... Yeah, it did. This used to be the beginning, and now it says it's an interlude. Huh. Neat. Um, right. Yes. Next world. Haha. <laughs> oh. So, what'd you think of that, John? That was pretty neat, eh? Gosh. Oh yeah, it's. I whenever I see shaders or interactions like this, I miss my days in uh, in physics. Yeah, it makes you um, miss physics. It, like the math, the the uh, catharsis that you can feel from an equation sometimes, like when things just fit together. And that's kind of that's how I feel nice. about this sometimes. Oh, wow. That's such a great name. It's a great name for a band equation, Catharsis. <laughs> I know that other people have felt the same way, actually, that Catharsis, when they're doing graphic design and using math to create logos and such, that all of a sudden things just... The equation or algorithm just fits and creates this amazing piece of art. Oh, cool. I know this hey. place. Is the video paused for you? Yes. Oh my good okay, lord. Good. 
there's no uh-huh. way we can show this to the viewers unfortunately yeah. you we'll have, have to, to come explain here and try it, but this. i just wanted to have an opportunity to talk about it um i think it'll be muted for you, if you know what i wonder nope okay let's see if i can go with my camera or in my head Whoa. So cool. <laughs> so unfortunately, this does not show up for viewers. But I wanted to pop in here really quickly just to talk about what this tool is. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So this world, um, sorry, let me pull up the. So this world is called Stereoscopic Memories 3D Video Showcase. And it's by Hai, H-A-I. I know that name. With a, We've uh, been to a couple of their worlds. Squiggly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so what this is showing off is actually the stereoscopic... So in, in VR chat, one of the cameras you have access to... Uh, where is it, actually? Was this not VRC Lenses feature? Oh, VRC Lens. Yeah, you have VRC um, Lens. I do, um, yeah. That's where I saw it. So... VRC lens has a stereoscopic camera, video camera. Um, and so VRC lens is like a thing that you can put on your avatar and it gives you additional sort of camera um, and uh, video camera tools. One of them being this, these like 3D videos. So what you can't see is that this dancer um, for, in our perception, is actually like three D, like a three D movie coming out. Yeah, of it's coming the like right out of the screen. Which, and even more impressive because, to me. Yeah. Oh, sorry, even more impressive to me oh, is like ahead. when we come up to the side here. For us, it becomes more and more two dimensional. Like it looks like a two D image almost for me. And then when oh, I yeah. when I come and look at it straight on, it's just like amazing of how it just lifts. Right it's off really the page. coming out. Yeah. Like every aspect Same it doesn't like, look like layered two dimension like it doesn't look like a layered three-dimensional of 2d pictures it looks full 3d mm-hmm. and so it's it's because it's got like a slightly different image for your left and your right eye because mm-hmm. if you close one eye it looks 2d again yep oh yeah that's right i wish I wonder- we could show this on stream but alas it does not show if you're not yeah in 3D. but it's a whole video <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Someone hit play. <laughs> oh, wow. So I wonder yeah. if this video uh, is oh, actually wow. like There's a side-by-side side 3D that it's showing. So if we find other side-by-side side content that... Yeah, you can play... We... Yeah, um, we've viewed some other 3D yeah. videos in here before. Oh yeah, yeah. But this is so cool because it was recorded in VR using VRC lens, which it, it was harder to record stereoscopic content before. Yeah. So what this means is that you can create your own 3D movies or whatever in VR chat with this uh, capability. You could also use it. Um, I was thinking about how like you could create. 3D videos to like put within worlds. Like if you want to have a character who welcomes someone to a world, you could like play that character or play as yourself or whatever, record a video Uh, welcoming them. And it's like you're, the person is kind of standing there. We just got a special hello. Oh yeah, it also has the LT CGI in here. Oh, Oh. did we? So first, before you do that, because you did mention it, the LT CGI, is this lighting on the floor and the windows that you see, which has been making its way into more worlds, which is amazing. Because it really adds to the the lighting Mm -hmm. immersion. But, sorry, go on. Oh, oh no, oh no. There goes the hip, it's back, it's okay. (laughs) Sorry. Speaking of. (laughs) It's how I'm sitting. (laughs) So I see, uh, I can go ahead, Dylan. If you want to see Squirrel Girl 345 has joined us. Hello, thank you so much for joining. I'm sorry you can't see the 3D-ness of this, but it is extremely cool. Um, and Dust Bunny is here. Hello, Dusty Dust Bunny in the VR Dance Academy. We're so happy to see you because today we are using your shoelace trick. 
I saw your Twitter post. We both saw your Twitter post and we're like, all right, we're doing it today. And, and while Dylan's hip tracker might be going a little bananas, their feet are working great. What? And so are mine. Is it still going bananas? What the heck is happening? <laughs> we were just checking out this world that has like... 3D recordings of dance performances using VRC lens, which we've never tried. I'm wondering, um, Dusty, have you ever tried doing a 3D recording um, of your dance performances? Because this let is really, know. really cool to see. Um, yeah, let us know. Let us know. <laughs> so they also have some 3D images over here, too. So these pictures are 3D. Oh, wow. How fun. I'd love to take some 3D photos of all of us and put it in a world if we ever made yeah. one. Like just for us. Oh, um, yeah. Or one that people could visit. It'd be so fun to have 3D pictures of us in there. I We all really? love 3D photos in VR. Like the shaders that, that oh, allow Dust that. I'm like, no thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm interrupting you. Dust Bunny was, was saying that, uh, that she's never done that. Never done the 3D oh. videos. Yeah. Oh, that would be neat to... And oh, this is you could do. You could create some tutorials of like some basic dance moves oh, as a 3D cool. video to put into a world <gasps> for the VR neat. Dance Academy. Hey, Dusty. Oh, that would be super cool. I would love to see that. Yeah, does the VRC lens film in 3D? Yeah. Dust Bunny was saying, yeah, apparently this was recorded with VRC lens and it can do 3D. It can do stereoscopic one to each eye type video and it looks great in here it does not show on the camera unfortunately but to us like the, it's really coming out of the screen so we'll post a link to this world um when the stream is over um but what is this world called again dylan in case someone was looking oh, for it oh yeah um stereoscopic memories 3d video showcase by hi yeah i highly recommend coming and checking it out it's really fun oh. And Dusty also mentioned that this is their first oh. time joining us. Yay! I'm glad you could join us. Uh, also, yeah, I'll be getting so full, body, full body tracking soon. I ordered my index. And Yay. If you, you don't necessarily need full body, but I would like to give a shout out to Dusty Does Dance Classes in VR. So if you get a chance, the VR look Dance up Academy. The VR Dance Academy. Yeah, mm -hmm. go learn some best dancing skills. Absolutely. Yeah. Like we will all go be doing. Yeah. John has full body tracking. Yeah, we're going to go <laughs> back to the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Squirrel Girl 345 says the screen in the background reminds me of when I watched Interstellar in Fortnite. You watched Interstellar in Fortnite? That's oh, kind of awesome. Cool. That's fun. Fortnite's been doing a ton of like really interesting activities. And I don't know if you did that as part of something Fortnite was putting on or whether you just made that happen on your own, but that sounds like a lot of fun um, to do that. And uh, Squirrel Girl 345 also says, Hola, hot dog. Hola. Hey. Hola. Hey. Hola. Hey. <laughs> cool. Well, well I have one more world that I wanted to show. Okay. And okay. then I wanted to we show better get to it. Uh, some avatar things. And I know we're like kind of cringe for time because we really got caught up in the other things but i think <laughs> yeah we I don't got cut too caught many up in the other from things. the plan from today <laughs> you... it's all your fault usually it's me this time it was dylan and me <laughs> and then we have scout who just always gets dragged along <laughs> oh i was having fun i was having a good time <laughs> oh a portal has been dropped run for the go. portal Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Whew. It really is amazing, actually, the events that happen in VR spaces, like Rec Room, VR Chat. Uh, we just had a virtual screening of We Met in VR in VR Chat, uh, where all the Patreons and friends and family were able to come into VR and have our own personal screening, Ooh. which was a really cool event. Oh, look at this Neat. guy. Look at this. Oh. Okay. I love so, this. Kevin, look at this. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Sorry, go on. Okay. So this world is called VRC Subtitle, and this uh, the world shows off a prefab by Alt Centauri, um, which is basically how you can put subtitles 
into your worlds. Um, I'm so stoked about this. I love subtitles on like everything. I pretty much always have subtitles on in anything I watch any anymore. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you just like, sometimes you just like miss something because you can't quite hear a word they're saying and you're like, what has happened? What? Yeah, so I like subtitles. Um, Me too. Yeah, and it makes your worlds more accessible as well uh, when you can add your subtitles to things. So this shows off lots of different ways you can do subtitles. Um, and it even shows kind of like the pictures of what it would look like when you're in Unity um, adding subtitles to things. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's a system that allows users to quickly and easily add subtitles to their projects, designed to be performant and modular. It supports a variety of different subtitle types and use cases. So as you can see, this is a little snapshot of what it would look like in Unity if you were adding it to your project. Um, and if we go click on big little uh, TV bot over here, we can see yeah. kind of what a subtitle would look like. Does that show? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it did. Hold on, I'm going to click it one more awesome. time. Oh, wait, did I turn world music down? Oh, yeah, I did. Here we go. Sorry, I'm going to play that one more time. Oh, no, I don't. There is no sound. Uh, they That's don't cool. all have voices. Some of them will. So is okay, this for so... adding subtitles to, like, the interactions in your worlds? Well, you'll see, actually, there's a number of different ways that you can implement it. So this one here... We'll just kind of go through each one and you'll see all the different uh, things you can do with it. Um, so this one, you can have it so that it will pull the username of the person like the, or the player name. So if I click on this, it comes up and it says, hi. Oh, I thought it said my username last time I did this. Did it say hi player oh. name for you? It said hi player name. Oh, it said hi scout one. Oh, now it said hi moustache. No, it for click you. it one more time. Oh, now it says, hi, Dylan. Yeah. That's hi, cool. Moustache. Yeah, so it can pull the player name. Um, visual oh, subtitle plonk. for physical interaction. So this is where you, if you hit it or interact with it, you can have um, any sounds that you have in the world, interaction sounds, can be visualized through subtitles. But you have to Again, another set the accessibility text, feature. Right? You have to set the text, yeah. So, so if you look here, you you write in plonk here, and then you have the audio clip here, which is the UI click organic mono, whatever. That's what they've titled their audio file. Nice. So it makes a sound and then says plonk. So for anyone who doesn't know, Centauri was the one who created film, uh, the uh, uh, Nora world, shoot. Oh, it was just called Noir, <laughs> right. Was it? Mm -hmm. And uh, I could really see this yeah. being a big thing in, in their future worlds. Yeah, well, and the subtitles were in Noir. Oh, yes, they were. Yes. I, there, was, there were subtitles in, in that. I do With remember that. Sir Actually, Charles. Really great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so Centauri has uh, taken what they've used in their own world and then turned it into a prefab for other people to use. Okay, so this is long so this series one has of sound. God yeah. is dead. God remains dead, and we have killed him. How shall we comfort ourselves? The murderers of our murderers. What was holiest and whitiest of all that the world has owned has bled to death <laughs> under our knives. Who will wipe this blood off us? What router is there <laughs> to clean ourselves? Such a cute little TV. Hello. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I can Is play this. Is this a song that can't be streamed? Yeah. Either way, you get the idea. Oops. <laughs> oh, 
Those are I'll great. be honest, I could actually see this <laughs> music being uh, <laughs> something that... Um, we can't stream or can? Can. I could see this being made by Centauri mm. or someone in the community. Potentially. I'm not sure. Um, I just wanted to point out here that they put in pauses like or like empty slots to time it with the music. Oh yeah. So like you've got an empty slot here and then hello world empty. So that way if there's music playing and just music it's blank and Mhm. Mm and you also had this pause function as well for Yeah, and that's going to come up in one of the next ones. Oh, okay. Perfect. So here's pause, pause dialogue. dialogue functionality can stop subtitles until a response is given. So this is great for if you're doing more like, um, oh. like interactive. Okay. Oh, so I want to select. Yes, I do. Okay. Unfortunately. And it's playing some jazz music, oh, okay. which I'm not sure it's very John can hear. I can hear it. Yeah. So I turn Good. it back. Cute. Also, how cute is this thing? I was so like, cute. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I see that uh, <laughs> Squirrel345 says, Is that Batman and a foxy lady? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I assume, I assume that's a foxy odd bunch. person. <laughs> We're... Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I think Foxy Lady is the name of a song. Or it, it's in a song, like a fox. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name actually, of the band. Am I a wolf? I, you know what? I, I don't think remember. that model is just very varied. It, it's yeah, there was different things. options, and it was like there was like you wolf, fox, canis. and something. Yeah, it's it's a canine avatar. Kind. <laughs> this avatar is made by Bento, and this avatar is made by Julia Winterpaw. In case you were wondering. Um, um, we uh, we've customized them both to our own our own needs, but this is uh, they're both avatars you can pick up on like Gumroad or Booth or Ko-Fi or wherever the creators are selling them at the moment. So yeah. So what's over here? Change subtitles during runtime. Change my lines with the buttons to your right. Hmm. Okay, so I clicked on a button. Set to oh, nine, yeah. Nine. So whenever I click on a button, you it changed seems to it. change Good the job. subtitles. That's cool. But you have to reactivate it, which is fine. Look at you go. You've changed my text. <laughs> but this, again, this another great, great um, sort of interactive for game functionality, right? If you um, have an object... Like, let's say you're on a quest and you have to find objects and like you have object one, two, and three, like a sword. Help me out here. Uh, a magic sword book. Shield. <laughs> or, or a shield. And, you know, the, you, the, the game designer doesn't know which one you're going to pick up first. So let's say I pick up the magic book first and then I bring the book back to the robot and I'm like, hey, robot. I brought this thing back and the robot, ro the robot, the robot, <laughs> the, <robot -y. laughs> the robot is then like, oh, I see you found the magic book. Good for you. Which would be really cool. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's really, really. Neat. And oh, so what we have system. there, it looks like a U sharp code that you will use to reference the Udon behavior and send that function to it. But, but I guess we don't know that that's how it's happening necessarily because we, you know? Well, yeah, and like, but basically, like, everything's been given these um, other interfaces for you to work with. So you can yeah. draw pieces in more easily. So it, you're not having to write the systems yourself. Yeah, which is awesome. Yes. So cool. What a great nice. prefab. Mm -hmm. I love that. Really is going to help. I'm going to definitely uh, think about how to put that in the world. Really going to help the uh, <laughs> accessibility of worlds as well. I look forward to seeing yeah. more. Well, we've had to, like, in a number of different things that we've made uh, outside of VR chat, we've tried, we've had to put subtitles in, and like, you've been coding those 
um, <laughs> from, scratch, from scratch, and it takes quite a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. It takes a very long time. So it's really nice when you have these kind of prefabs to work with. Okay. Well, are you ready for the final surprise? Okay. Are we yeah. going? We're going right. somewhere else, though, for this, right? No, we're not going somewhere else. I'm going to show you some avatar surprises. Okay. Do you want to come stand over here, Dylan? Okay. This, this blank wall here? Oh, okay. Yes, I can do that. Yep. What? Hold on. Oops, I grabbed my menu. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to pull out Avatar surprise. this one. Avatar surprise. Gonna be a surprise. Ooh. Okay. All right. I didn't practice this beforehand. <laughs> oh. This will be fun. You can First. do it. Oh, yeah. Ah. All right, show the camera. Hold, hold it. Uh, can you make it not? Oh. Hold it again. Horizontal. Bring. Make it vertical. There we go. And then show us what it can do, Scout. Scout? Oh, hang. Okay. Can you That's hear that? That's the key. Yep. So if you can all hear the pop. Here, I'll let Dylan introduce this actually, though. Sorry. Go ahead, Dylan. You're muted. Oops, so, there. Sorry. So what this so is showing also off. also how to play. What this is showing off comes up is here. the new Avatar 3.0 interaction that can happen. So Scout is interacting with Dylan's avatar. And, and this, this avatar was made by Yash. And... Um, so Yash has made a number of different games that are you can attach to an avatar. Uh, they're available on the VRC prefabs data, da, database, <laughs> which is listed on the front of the avatar here. So if you go to that database and you can kind of scroll down the avatar 3.0 prefabs and find a number of the games that Yash has made that you can then attach to your avatar. So you can have on hand to play at any time in any world a have game on hand on hand <laughs> um a game of nuisance and show us the, uh, show us the uh the instructions again one more time oh so you can actually come here one thing that's and pick up or can you? Oh, not these ones. You had to come real close, though. The, uh, oh, see. yeah, not these ones, yeah. One thing you can do, too, that I saw on another one of these boards, it was saying that if you're having any trouble reading the instructions, you can actually use your camera as a magnifying glass. So if you bring your camera up really close to these, it's super easy to read them. Um, yeah. How do you... Oh, when Yash go. showed us this, so, yeah, you just we were just blown away and baffled because this is just using coding through the animator. <laughs> there's there's no code in this. This is just all animated with the interaction. And it's just it's really amazing how Yash was able to do this with various <laughs> games. Was it we saw... So here we have nuisance yeah i have some other ones um, trouble on hand do you want to quickly show them it was explained that you can do it with your face too yep there we go and your feet Booped with the nose it's pretty fun <laughs> which you know what this would be a great time for me to show the the uh the layer actually so for example there, you can see the interactable areas if you go. We're going to turn on the overlays and see the contacts. So now I can see the areas that we can use to contact with. And blue are interactable layers. So, what is it? 17? I don't have a 17. Give me another number. I-17. I had it. 
and 45. Nope. No. And 32. Hey, I got that one. There we go. And see, so you just dab it. I-21. It's really great, too, because if you and wanted to 30... play board games with your friends in a world that you go to, you know, that doesn't have any games, it's really nice if someone can bring them along. The you other know, thing that's nice about it is that sometimes started. adding... Yeah, sometimes adding games to a world can really um, make the world quite large to download. Um, mm -hmm. It can, like, True. add a lot of bulk to the world, as it were. And so, like, having this on your avatar means that, like, you can go to potentially um, smaller worlds. I don't have that number. Everyone got really into a game of playing this the last time we played. They finished oh, yeah. the game. <laughs> I do not. Uh, so Squirrel's asking, anyone have a deck of cards? And I personally do not on me, um, but there is uh, in the prefab database, I did see something about a deck of cards that someone oh, had made. Speaking um, of cards, I, I, I should mention that each of our bingo cards are randomized. Um, and you can you get a different card every time. Yeah, I think I have seen usable decks of cards in Worlds before, but I don't think I've ever seen them on an avatar, so that would be a really cool one to see. Although it is possible that Yash has done it and we just didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm it, not sure. I don't, I was kind of just scrolling through the prefab database kind of quickly, and I remembered seeing a deck of cards, but I didn't see, I don't remember where it was, if it was a world prefab or an avatar prefab. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I don't remember. That's cool. Oh, oh, the one fun thing you got to show about this, John, is that this little, the little ball here actually says the right number as well, like the number of the yes. letter on the ball. Oh, on this ball here. Right yeah, yeah, this one. This so I'll right make ball. another one so roll show down. Us another one, yeah. There we go. Look at that, and it tells, it's so shows good. you the history. <laughs> But, uh, so, like, there was the game of... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Could... Maybe turn off your uh, contact visualizer there, John. <laughs> yeah. I was, well, actually, I was going to show about grabbing someone's tail, of how it's the same thing of what Yash is using. Can, can you move into a, okay. uh, an avatar with a gra grabbable thing? So, if we look at... Like this? <laughs> Oh, your tail isn't blue. Oh, yes, it is. Is it? No, it's not. Oh. I'm not seeing your blue tail. Is that... Okay. Contact but either might way, be inside the tail. Um, normally, you'll see yeah, like a is. blue outline on, mm -hmm. on the tail. I'm not seeing it right now. But it's what you can see of the interactable parts and... You look at your hands and you can see uh, your, the interactable layers on your hands. Yeah, it's real I think cool. what you, you need to turn on fizz bones for that, John. You have to turn on the fizz bones layer. Oh, right, yes. So this is the interactable fizz bones. You're right. Yes. So there we go. These are the fizz bones that you can interact with. Cool. So you also anyway. have them in your own hair if you turn your, your camera around. <laughs> Which, <laughs> so you can see, yeah. So this is how often hair will look. And that you can, can I? Am I grabbing in the wrong place? Yeah, I see you doing it. There you go. Just got to get a bit closer. <laughs> I don't have depth. <laughs> I can't. I messed up my hair now. There we go. There. Ah. <laughs> cool. Well, that was a great way to to showcase what is possible in VR chat nowadays of with Udon Sharp systems, with avatar systems, uh building these other systems that you can then obtain, like the subtitles 
or shaders like the water one. Um, so you can bring these into your worlds and either increase aspects of immersion or fun or aspects of impossibility. <laughs> They're always amazing. Sweet. Are we closing out here? That was a great stream. Yeah, let's close out. Say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun checking out everything today. I feel like we got a taste of so many different cool things that you can do uh, with worlds. You know, the stuff that's just come out, you know, stuff that's kind of been like in development development um kind of the the the, the best practices that that were put into the world by juice which was so cool mm. some really amazing shader stuff um you know i i just yeah we we had a wonderful time today and i can't wait to put some of the stuff into practice uh, in our own worlds and uh and to visit more worlds made by you all the lovely people that check out the stream so thank you Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you had a lot of fun. I've been holding on to a lot of those worlds for a while now um, and uh, just waiting till we had enough of them to put yeah. into one stream, though we, we clearly had, I had, I had to cut some from the list to, to share. We'll have to share those on a different stream because um, we just couldn't do them all. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. But this also gets at one of our, one of our goals with this isn't just to show off the worlds that people are creating, but to show off the prefab community and what they're working on for what other people can include in their worlds. So I'm glad that we could finally dive into this and uh, hopefully we can do more, more of these showcases as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. some with and the And we've done some tech demo streams in the past. And developers. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I that do enjoy fun. that. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss Talk that. Talk about design. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Yeah, things are changing. Mm -hmm. well, well, I think we're we're over time <laughs> for where we wanted to go. Um, any last thoughts? Nope, not for me. No. Nope. Sounds I just had good. a lovely time. And thank you, everyone, for commenting and hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you. So thanks for joining us, everyone. Again, we'll have more shenanigans next week. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. Signing off, we have Dylan. <laughs> Bye. The camera's very close. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> Me. John. See you all next week, everybody. And Scouts. And me, Whoa. Scouts. Right up Scouts' nose. Whoa. <laughs> ah, right in the nose. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, everyone, and chatting with us. We had a great time, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Have fun. Bye. Bye.